Hi guys, Kai here and welcome back to another Match Day Live episode. It is a Thursday and that is the Europa League action. It is the second leg of the Europa League against Olympiakos of Greece. We do take the advantage from the first leg as you may remember. Um, so fingers crossed we can get the job done tonight as well. Don't concede any goals and we will be seeing ourselves through to the next round of this competition. Um, it's going to be tough, but I think Arsenal are going to be the favourites, of course. Um, we had a good result at the weekend against Everton, three goals to two. Uh, so there are goals in Arsenal. We'll have to wait and see what team Mikel Arteta is going to go with. I'm hoping that Lacazette makes a starting eleven tonight. Um, it was Eddie Nketiah who got the, the call up ahead of him in the last game against Everton. So as I said, it would be nice to see Lacazette helping us in the Europa League. Fingers crossed, he was in the um, the press conference yesterday with Mikel Arteta, so I think that is a sign that Lacazette will be starting. So as I said, hopefully he does get the nod and hopefully he can get himself in amongst the goals as well. In front of the home fans, that would be great for him to give him that support if he does bang one away into the back of the net. I'm um, hoping for quite a few goals actually this evening. Um, I want a positive performance from the Gunners. I'm sure there will be a couple of the youngsters in there as well. Um, and we'll have to wait and see exactly what we are thinking in regards of the start 11. But they can see we do start off today's game with a goal. And it's Lucas Trero. Doesn't score many goals for the Arsenal, but he ran into the gap there. Played him inside. And then Lucas Trero tapping it on the edge of the six-yard box, I believe it was. So let's have a look at the replay as Nicola Pepe goes through. And yeah, right on the edge of the six-yard box and to give Arsenal a one-goal lead. And that is the big advantage. And I think just scoring one goal, not conceding, um, even if it's early on, will settle our nerves and hopefully push us on to get the, the victory. It'll be interesting to see as well who we get in the next round. Some big teams still remaining in the competition, of course. No teams from the Champions League can drop down into the next round either. So... Yeah, you would call Arsenal one of the favourites for the Europa League. But as I said, there's still quite a few teams in here which can cause a trouble, um, cause Arsenal trouble as well. So, uh, fingers crossed Arsenal can win this competition. Obviously, it is a, a way into the Champions League for next season. Um, especially with Manchester City missing out, possibly. They have appealed their, their Euro, the European ban. So, we'll have to still wait on that. They did appeal it, I think it was two days ago. So we'll have to wait for the outcome of that. But as it stands right now, I believe it's going to be um, a fifth place position, um, which does get the Champions League spot. It could be mistaken with that. As I said, we'll have to just wait on that appeal, see if it goes through in favour of Manchester City or not. And then we'll have to wait on UEFA to decide, um, or the Premier League or whoever decides the, the action of giving that fifth place to a Champions League spot or not. Um, but there is... A chance for Olympiakos, thankfully for us, off target. It's nicely lit, teed up for himself there, uh, but very, very bad effort in the end, actually. Uh, I thought it was closer than it was as, as he took that shot, but it was pretty far wide. So Arsenal leading then two goals to nil. We are approaching the hour mark as Arsenal press forward here. Is Alexandra Lacazette played that one through nicely for Willick. Willick's going all the way through. Can he finish it? He squares up his body. Uh, but he couldn't get enough curl on it to finish in that far corner, unfortunately. So a miss there from Joe Willick. We have started Willick actually as a cam today. Um, just behind Lacazette. Uh, we've got Martinelli on that left side. Nicola Pepe on the right, as you may have seen. And who's in the middle? I believe it's Sabellos. And who else is it? Oh, Lucas Trail, wasn't it? Uh, so yeah, Sabellos. Got the nod as well ahead of Guanduzzi and Xhaka as Martinelli is taken down there. I think that was just outside the area. Uh, but is it going to be classed as the last man? I think it is, to be honest. And he could see red. He does see red. The referee runs straight up to him and it is a red card. So, with 20 minutes remaining, Olympiakos are down to 10 men. Arsenal already leading by two goals to nil. As I said, I think this was just outside the area as well. So, it's not going to be a penalty, but it is going to be... Nicholas Pepe to step over this one and hopefully bang it into the back of net. Um, danger always, uh, Nicholas Pepe, when it comes to the free kick situations. But me and myself, I have still not mastered free kicks in FIFA 20. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. I've tried all sorts. I've put it on the goal, put it at the bottom of the goal, in the top corner. It just will not go into the back of net. I think I have scored like one or two 
um, during FIFA 20, but nothing consistently, uh, which is a bit of a shame. But hopefully in FIFA 21, we do work harder to try and master it going forward as we are trying to go forward here looking for a third goal Arsenal into the final 10 minutes is Danis Villas well played there good touch and that is a poor pass what is he thinking we did the hard work and especially Danny Sabellos he did the hard work he stu stood on it um, opened up the space for himself but then just passed it straight to the Olympiacos defenders uh, which is obviously not what we wanted to do as Olympiacos are charging down that far side right now trying to get the crossing cross comes in so too does the header but just wide of the Arsenal goal very very close there for Olympiacos to at least get themselves an away goal in this uh, and then maybe have a last couple of minutes trying to get a couple of more goals but it doesn't look like anything's going to happen then we've got five minutes of normal time to play which is just down to the last minute not sure how many minutes of added time we are going to be given uh, but I think that is going to be about it, guys. As always, leave a vote in the top right on the poll. Uh, let me know who you think is going to come out on top on this one. Will Olympiacos cause a shock at the Emirates Stadium? Will Arsenal go through pretty convincingly and get us into the next round of the Europa League? Uh, it can't be a draw, of course. Well, it can be on the night, but uh, overall, it cannot be. Um, so look, we'll see how we get on. Hopefully, as I said, Arsenal put in a good performance. It was a good performance by ourselves today. 2-0 win. Uh, Olympiacos getting that red card as well, seeing themselves go down to 10 men. Um, so hopefully a good starting 11 for Arsenal. Arteta, I've got um, confidence he will put in a strong squad. Uh, I'm hoping that Lacazette does start as well. So we're hoping that Alexandre Lacazette gets himself on the score sheet. Um, I'm kind of praying that he gets himself a hat-trick. How good would that be, seeing Lacazette bag himself a hat-trick at the Emirates Stadium? That will give him the good confidence going through to the next few games. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like if you did like today's episode. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.